Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Today we're getting into chapter 29, discussing the circle of Karna. We'll be meeting with Dumbledore in his office first because I mean, he's, he's found out. Let's face it, it's, it's pretty obvious. The secret circle of Karna is not a secret. Ow. Just everybody knows about it now. Right. Fox, hello Fox. Oh, Ben and Marula are here too. Hey guys, you two got called up here too? No, I just fancied a stroll up to the headmaster's office. Of course we got called up here. It seems Dumbledore found out about our secret organisation. Now we're all going to be expelled, and I'll be the most powerful witch of absolutely nowhere. You won't be expelled. I'll take blame for it. All of it. Don't be a prat copper. Dumbledore already knows we're in on this thing together. I suppose this is the end of the road then. Serves me right for joining up with you two. I regret nothing. If you could, would you have done anything differently, Shani? No, oh, I'm proud of what we've done. And what's that exactly? From where I'm standing, it doesn't look like much. We can't just expect to do, we can't expect to just find a secret or evil organization overnight. Speaking of which, what did you learn about the creatures of the Black Lake? Actually, our research led us to a book that suggested the Whomping Willow was more than it appears. How so? You supposedly it's used by evil organisations to exchange messages, so I started asking around about the Willow. And what did you find out? Alanza wasn't familiar with it. All I got out of the sprout was out of the sprout. Out of the sprout was confirmation that it's incredibly dangerous to approach. On the bright side, we won't have to approach it, seeing as we're all going to be expelled from Hogwarts. So this is the circle of Karna I've heard so much about. How did you find out, Professor? Nothing transpires at Hogwarts without my knowing about it, Shiny. Very well then. We're ready to face the consequences of our actions. You have ten lashings. Ben, you'll get twenty just for being a... <laughs> Insert any word you want in there. It's a relief to learn... And I don't, don't what, Dumbledore? I suppose we just had to find our own way to process what we've been through. I'm sorry for being secretive, Professor. It won't happen again. You should have told, or we should have told you, Professor. We weren't sure you'd approve. I was pleased to hear you'd formed a support group for your friends. Um, for you and your friends, it's not normally a support group. Maybe. I'm glad you took my advice. To focus on processing your grief. A wise decision. Wait, does he think this is some different... This... Play along. Play along. I suppose we just have to find our own way through it. Alright, that's, that's why she was like that. Healing is so much more important than seeking revenge. Well done. By founding this group, you've shown wisdom beyond your years. I'm sure your fellow students are proud to have you supporting them. I'm brave of you to shoulder the emotional burdens of other students. Oh god, claiming this on thick. It's a relief to learn that I don't have to worry about you three after all. Um guys, I feel like Dumbledore is, is gonna like last minute and go, God damn it, do you think I'm stupid? I know what you're doing. Hmm. He thinks this is a support route. I mean, he, it is. Hey, five tickets. Okay, so can we convince him? Keep maintaining it. A group focused on helping you and your friends cope with your grief is exactly what Hogwarts needs right now. I can certainly hope you continue your work and resist the temptation to seek revenge. After all, that is what the Circle of Karna is about, isn't it? Healing rather than vengeance. <laughs> that was more like a parrot, wasn't it? <laughs> ah, seems I'm been called away. Headmaster's work is never done. Do, do the... Do it! Well, we're not expelled. Is it just me or did Dumbledore know more than he let on? If he did, we'd be packing our bags right now. We're in clear copper. What do you think, Shani? Did Dumbledore seem like he suspected something? He knows something's up, but he might not be absolutely certain. We better keep it that way. No more blabbing about Circle of Karna, alright? 
layoff moral it's not shiny's fault that we ended up here look what happened happened regardless of how we feel about it all we can do now is move on move forward for rowan you're you're right shiny rape pick is the guilty one here not us then we find rape pick and put a stop to r once and for all we can tell dumbledore the truth later just not until we've done what we need to do but our only lead is the Whomping Willow. So far all we've learned is that it's dangerous. And where do you go if you want to learn more about dangerous things? The restricted section of the library. We'll just have to get past Pints first. Let's do it. Invisibility Cloak. I meet you at the library to continue my research after my next class. Oh god. Let's head to the library to continue researching the Whomping Willow. The Whomping Willow. Right, we're ready. We're at the library. Let's go. Be quiet or Madame Pince will kick us out and have us banned for the library for good. What do you think you're doing? All those black cat crisps you're consuming? Out! Out now! Madame Pince looks like an underfed vulture. Hmm. Bit harsh. Bit mean. You, you have a big nose. Don't like it, do you? There she is. All that stands between us and our research into the dangers of the Whomping Willow and its connection to the dark wizard Cabal. Ah. Madame Pince looks like she could be in, in, in an evil Cabal. Look at her. Sunken cheeks. Skin like parchment. She's so strict with students. Sometimes I think Pince might be the meanest witch at Hogwarts. That's debatable. You think it's Ismelda. Why not me? You're always claiming to be the most powerful witch, not the meanest. Who do you think is the meanest witch, Shiny? Rape pick is the meanest. She's not only the meanest, but she's dangerous, and the reason we're all here. So use my use both my brother and me for her evil plans, and she killed our friend. You're right. <laughs> she is the meanest. <laughs> I mean, I don't think we were factoring her in from the beginning. We need to beat her to, to the final curse vault and vanquish rape pick once and for all. The Whomping Willow could be the key, which is why we should get to get to our research. So let's figure out how we're going to sneak past Pints into the restricted area. We've done this before, when we dealt with the cursed fault of fear that was hidden behind the staircase inside. Right, in the past students have used creatures or pranks to distract Pints, so she might see that coming. So what can we do to get past Pints this time? Pints may be strict, but she's a person under all those rules. Order and gruff demeanour. Let's try appealing to her kinder side. Nobody ever asks Pints about Pints. So maybe if we all fire off questions to her about her own likes and dislikes, she'll get befuddled. And then we can toss a distraction her way, and once she's gone, we sneak into the restricted section. That could work. Here's our chance to find out. Okay, okay. Uh, what are you three over here whispering about? The library is a place of quiet and study, not nattering on. Sorry, Madam Pint, you're spot on. Have I ever told you how much I admire the way you take care of this place? Wait, do you? Copper! Right, of course. I mean, we all do. Hogwarts is first and foremost a school, and the library is full of is the heart of the school, which makes you the protector of the heart. What could be more important? I quite agree about the first part, but don't know what to say about the second. No one ever seems to appreciate me. Still, it's shameful the way people disrespect the sanctity of the library, isn't it? What are the worst things you've ever seen, seen done here? What do you hate the most, or even like most, about your work in the library? Pow, pow, pow. Fire off more questions. I think we need better questions. I like how pale your skin is. You're so dedicated to your books, you don't see the sun. Nice. Is it okay for us to chat like this, as long as we whisper softly, right, man and pinks? I don't like being seen as an obstacle to research. I'm here to help. Spoiling or befouling books with writing is unacceptable. Right? My, your desk is handsome. Looks like a great place to read for hours. Yep. I know you like my brother, Jacob, and he respected you too. But there's good things here, too. I know you love your rune dictionary. You quite enjoy the frog choir, Madam Pince. This is better. There are enough loads of different questions. Take note. I very much like to dis dislike eating of any kind in my library, especially chocolate eggs. 
I'm fond of students like Lily and James Potter, who studied quietly together. I don't like being seen as an object. Yeah, you already said that. She's saying the same things to us. I don't know how this is going to distract her. I don't think she seems befuddled. And even if she was befuddled, I don't think that would affect her eyesight. We'll find out how much does it impact. Oh, your eyesight. We're grateful for you to you for sharing your love of rules and extreme dislike of rule breakers, Madam Pince. Though you do look a bit out of sorts now. I must admit, I feel a bit befuddled. Oh, we done it! And surprised that you took an interest in my feelings. And this might be a bad time to mention that while we're talking, I saw someone writing in the margins of a book behind you. Me too. I think they're headed to the back of the library. And I saw someone carrying pumpkin juice near the encyclopedias. What? Why did you waste my time then? You know the protection of the books is my primary responsibility. I'll toss these potential desecrators out of myself right quick. <laughs> okay. It's the weirdest run. That was a great idea, Shani. Madam Pince was so befuddled she didn't even think about le us leaving us here alone. Or how close we are to the restricted section. Even grumpy witches want people to understand them. Maybe we've been too hard on Pince. Crikey, don't go soft on us now, Conta. And either way, the coast is clear. Let's get to the restricted section and continue our research mission. Let's go. No, don't be any. Don't be any. Yes, we're going. We're in. Oh, the coast is clear. Go. What? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Take your time to load. Oh, what? That's confusing. Hmm. Feels like it's been a long time. It has been a long time since we were last in here. Look at all these books. We've been here in we've we've been in here looking for a while already. But we haven't found anything. It connects the Whomping Willow with dangerous organizations like R. So we keep looking. But how do we even know what you read? A uh, hot pollution box connecting the willow and R was accurate. It could be nothing. More than crazy author's theory. Some author. That's better than nothing in my book. If we waste our time chasing false leads, we're risking rape pit getting to the final curse vault before us. Madame Villanelle wouldn't offer a book unless she believed it was legitimate. Well, good for her. But for all we know, it could still be right rubbish. So what are you saying? You want to ignore our only lead? Maybe I just want to act. You're not the only one who wants to avenge Rowan. And you're definitely not the leader of Circle of Karna. All three of us are founders, so let's have it out right now. Right here. I agree. We should debate what to do next. Then bring your best, because I'm ready. Oh yeah. I'm ready. I've been waiting for this day to come, my ruler. I'm gonna hit you with such powerful retort. What do we even know about this author? Lomelia Prounce. We shouldn't trust her. If we're going to face the, the Whomping Willow... We need to be prepared first. What if this is all a wild goose chase? Could be. No lead's too small if it means that we get closer to exposing the truth about R. The Whomping Willow doesn't scare me, but Rake Pick should be, scared, but should be scared of me. We don't need to fight each other, we need to fight Rake Pick. There must be something, something that explains the connection in one of these books. You're not in charge of me, Hunter. I'll do this my way. I say if we're going to face R, we need to be fearless, strong, and act now. Act against what? If we're going to face the one we will, we need to be prepared first. This feels like a waste of time. I don't want to research. I want to find rake pick. Yeah. What if this is all a wild goose chase, guys? Lemelia Prounce. Lemelia Prounce. Don't worry, guys. I've solved it. Lamelia Prounce Scramble uh, Oceanarium You can make the word Oceanarium It's a clue I mean, Black Lake Oceanarium I mean it's not a complete Anagram Because it still leaves a couple of words 10 3 7 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 
Oh no, I forgot the E off. We might get an 11 letter word. No, Oceanarium is the biggest. Let's see if there are any other things that can solve it. Name Anagramma. Search. Well, at least we're clear on our different views now. We still need a sign to help de decide what to do next. No. <gasps> guys. Wait, guys. I may have found something. Does it explain how R is using the Whomping Willow? No, but in a lot of ways, it's more important. Take a look. Hmm. I don't get it. These are just some old student notes from the best woods for wands and broomsticks. They have nothing to do with what we're looking for. They have everything to do with it. That's why I'm showing you. I recognise the handwriting. Blimey, you're right, Shani. These notes belong to Rowan. I always hated the way he dotted, with, dotted his eyes with a dash. I quite like that. Rowan was an original. Yeah, maybe I'm keen on that flourish after all. I miss my friend. What do you miss most about Rowan, Shani? Rowan's humour, Rowan's heart, Rowan's courage. Rowan's humour? Puns? Made me laugh, even when I was worried about my brother. That meant a lot to me. To me too. I don't care much about humour, but I have to admit Rowan almost got me to smile a couple of times. Which means Rowan could do the most, do the impossible even. Rowan is who we're all doing this all, doing, doing all this for. We can't lose sight of that. Not for a second, even if we sometimes disagree. Which is why we need to avenge our friend and beat Rake to the final curse vault. Maybe Shani is right. Our only lead to R is this alleged connection to the, at the Whomping Willow. And we've learned all we can about it from Sprout, the bookstore, even here. Then let's stop researching and go to the tree. But the Whomping Willow is dangerous, and Rowan would, would want us to be careful and safe. What else can we do to prepare? I have an idea, but I have to go alone. Where? To find my brother. If we're going to the Whomping Willow, I need jo Jacob's help. Let's go. I'm liking this chapter. There's a lot of... A lot going on. Uh, we're going we're to need some more more gems. We are at 5% battery. <laughs> it's going to be a close one again. I think I'm going to have to recharge. Part 4. Yeah, we ain't getting through that. Or are we? Impalance. <sighs> um, yeah, no, no, no names really from that. No anagrams. That is not something that is a uh, possible word. <laughs> Still searching through different sites. Molecular pine. Ah, a molecular pine. Her name is an anagram of molecular pi and molecular apin. Molecular pin. Nucleoli reap ma. Pecu peculiar, peculiar on male. <laughs> so, sorry, guys, to subject you to this. This is what I would just, <laughs> just do. Just to pass the time. Time to call in the cavalry. Let's see if Jacob can help me protect myself at the Wombie Willow. Vermilius, red sparks. Well, that was quick. Pip, what's wrong? Has something happened? It's Hogwarts, Jacob. Something's always happening. Especially with Ratepick and her dark wizard Cabal R trying to pursue the final curse vault. I told you to leave Ratepick to me. She's my responsibility. And I told you we were in this together. Ever since you were a nipper, you've never listened. You're more stubborn than an Abraxan. I'm the one who started this whole mess with Ratepick. Why won't you back off and let me deal with this alone? Because this is my fight. Rapid took my brother away for years, and then she left you at that cursed vault. Then she killed my first friend at Hogwarts, so I've got as much stake in this, uh, in this fight as you. See, stubborn as an Abraxan. Guess that's good. It means you're a fighter. I learnt it from you. Still, I'm supposed to be the big brother here. But looks like you've grown up a lot since I was gone. Did the great Jacob just admit defeat? Let's just say I won't stand in your way. The truth is, 
You looked for me even when no one else was bothered. And you didn't hesitate to free me when you found me either. And we're together now because of it. How's Beatrice? I hated having to leave her before, leave before knowing if she was alright. She's better because we found her in time. We found her in time. And I'm glad that you came when I called tonight because I need your help. I'm here for you, Pip. So tell me what I need to know. Alright, there's this, uh, this thing called the Whomping Willow. I don't know if you're uh, aware of it. Yes? Yes, that's all the information we have, really. My friends and I are investigating R, ah, but Dumbledore almost caught us. Or he has caught us, and he's just ignoring it. We need to avenge Rowan and make sure no one else is hurt. I think we're in the clear with Dumbledore for now. We've been doing research on the Whomping Willow, but still need help. Our best lead is in a book from uh, that we found at Flourish and Book Blots. What have you got to say, Jacob? Do you realise how dangerous this is? I hope you, however I can. That's a promise. Be careful around Dumbledore. Very little happens here that he doesn't know about. You and your friends helped to save me, and I want to do the same for you. Rake, pick, and R are both dangerous. Don't underestimate them. No, we won't. Jacob's on repeat. Jacob is an anagram of Mockage. Ob Objack. Cobja. Akabich. Sorry, I'll stop. trying to think about the combinations all right there's gonna be one, one day i'll do this with anagrams and the, we'll, the, we'll uncover a real secret rake pick is an anagram of let's go to the top rake pick is an anagram of pick rake kick pair Kickapa, Pike Rack, haha, <laughs> Peck, Ark, I. <laughs> That's the way to defeat her. We need to peck her in the eye, and when we do that, she go Ark. So it turns out the Whomping Willow may be a message center, exchange center for the darkest organizations of the Wizarding World. If it's true, there's bound to be clues on how to find R there. If you go to the Whomping Willow, you, you'll be whomped and stomped for sure. What good is finding a clue if you've crushed before you can use it to find R? I'm betting I can use the shield charm to protect me while I find what I need, and I was hoping you'd practice with me. You'd be surprised how many witches and wizards can't even conjure a proper shield charm. Rakepick taught me. Talk it to me in secret. Did she now? Look at that little pip, you're full of surprises. It was long before I knew she was the only one even using me because she needed a, leg a legitimate to unlock the buried vault. And you're betting that Rakepick once taught it to me for the same reasons. Am I wrong? As usual, you're spot on. And I bet I'm better than you are. Huh. I might be the younger sibling here, Jacob, but I've always been quicker than you. We'll see. Okay, watch this. Protego. I am terrible at casting Protego. Every time I get attacked in this game, Protego. No, it never happens. I just get hit, knocked on the back. That's good. Now imagine that I'm the one Willow and I'm coming right at you. Send your shield charm directly at me and you'll block the branch with more accuracy. Protego! I should get more. Casting a lot of spells tonight. Protego! <laughs> nice! What's he done? I'm strong, but I'm no Whomping Willow. Concentrate, Pip. This could save your life. Again! Protego! This one's going to be big. Protego! Brilliant. I'm impressed. Reminds me of casting spells in our yard back home. But this time we have actual wands from Ollivander's and not just sticks of licorice. <laughs> we were good even then, but even stronger now. And now we're even stronger, because Marula is the strongest. Marula, are you following me? Guilty as charged. But not sorry at all. Even though following you sometimes get your, gets your so-called friends killed. Oh. <laughs> that charm could save both our necks. I can't believe Rakepick taught you and not me. 
Exactly. How long have you been watching us, Marilla? Long enough to know that you and your brother both know the shield charm from our ex-professor. Clearly the mastery of spells runs in our family. Don't sell yourself short, Jacob. Something tells me you're a greater master of magic than your lesser sibling here. Thanks. I think. Besides, you still owe me a jewel from when I last saw you in Nocturne Alley. But I'll accept a lesson in shield charms instead. It's not easy, Marula. Nothing worth learning is. Good thing I'm the most powerful witch at Hogwarts. I like her. Alright, let's try the charm. We've got an upcoming circle of Karna meeting coming up that I need to prepare for. Fine, and less talking, more teaching. Now let's go. Protego. Ah. Yeah. You, yeah. It's just embarrassing, really, Marilla. I'm ready, Tunter, and I'm not alone. Meet me right away. Ditching Jacob, are we? Thanks, Jacob. I don't think we even said bye to Jacob. How rude. Did we? I don't know. Marula is an anagram of Mola. It's the first. It's the first anagram I put in that actually makes a full word. Rule ma rum ale. Hmm. Combination between ale and rum. Rum ale. I'm excited to learn something new from a fellow student. Circle of Khan needs to be ready to confront Professor Ratepick. Oh no, I missed the last bit. Damn it. Marula, I got your message, but I don't appreciate being summoned. Wait, what are you all doing here? I thought the Circle of Khan meeting was tomorrow. Marula called an emergency meeting, the seven of us specifically. What for? What's going on? You're the one with all the secrets, Hunter, so why don't you guess why we're here? Because you're annoyed with me? <laughs> I get it. You're still annoyed that I met Jacob to practice the shield charm and wanted to tell the group about it. Hmm, maybe you're smarter than you look. I didn't tell the group about the training with Jacob and that you learnt extra skills from right pick. I did. Skills that will be helpful when we all go looking for clues and connections to R at the Whomping Willow. Wait, you want this whole group to go? All of them? We're in this together, aren't we, Shiny? Absolutely, but... If Beatrice goes, I go. I don't need a babysitter, Penny. And if Marula goes, I go. If anyone here goes, I'll go because I was invited too. Wait, where were we going again? I chose this group carefully and with good reasons. Then I'm going to have to hear them because I'm not sure this is a good idea. Everybody plays their part with expertise in different areas. Penny's cautious and practical. Usually it's irritating, but for this, it makes sense. I can take a womp. Wait, that's the only, not the only reason you asked me, is it? Please? Because I prefer not to. Barnaby is strong. He can handle getting tossed about while we look for clues. Okay, that's his role. I should go alone. It's safer in smaller numbers. If there are clues that help avenge Rowan, I need to be there to find them. I'm fast. I can scoot around the willow branches and find clues. I'm cautious and smart. I'll know when it's safe to search. It's Melda likes violence, so she won't be afraid of the whomping when the whomping starts. If anyone's getting whomped, I just want to be there to see it. <laughs> okay, okay. You're not the leader circle of the circle hunter, so why should you decide? Because... I am, um, let's face it, I'm, I'm the, the un, un, confirmed leader, default, leader by default, just because, I mean, I'm the main character, you're not, you're not, you're not the main character, ruler, so, sorry, collect, get lots of these tickets. It's brilliant that you all care so much, and I appreciate the reasons you've offered. You'd be a great team, but the Willow will detect a big group right away. Then we'll get whomped and hurt for sure. Not if you teach us all the shield charm. Wait, no, Marula, it's a hard spell. You're really skilled, and even you couldn't get it last night. Try shit, we gave it one try. So obviously it's something only a professor should teach. You mean the way Professor Rapey taught you? 
Well, turns out she can't do this anymore on account of her being a homicidal maniac. Now we're stuck with you as a teacher hunter, which is rubbish, but what choice do we have? I'm with Marula. We all need to learn, Shani. It's for our own protection at the one point. I feel like Protego should be the charm we learn very early on. So you're going to teach the shield charm now, and then we're going to use it whether you like it or not. Mm, I'll be the one to judge that. Are you now? Filch. <laughs> Seems Dumbledore's right to have me keep an eye on this lot, especially you, Snyder and Hunter. Hmm. Dumbledore knows about our meeting. Yes, this is a support group. Dumbledore encourages us to get together and chat to each other about our feelings. Nice try, but I know you students, and I know Albus Dumbledore. And he didn't encourage you to participate in sanctions, spell learning, or casting after hours. So whatever you had planned, consider it cancelled. You're headed straight back to the same place you stay, your day started. Dumbledore's office. To face the consequences. Snide Hunter, March! We'll see if you two ringleaders can weasel your way out of this one with the headmaster himself. Oh. Can... Potato! Does <laughs> not work? No. Mr. Filch is to bring you to my office after we meet with Professor McGonagall. After I meet. I'm ready to meet with you, Miss Snide and Mr. Filch, immediately. Look alike. Time for magical transformation. Check out the Avatar store to customize your character. Hey, look, they've added the new customizations. I don't want to change anything because this is who I have been. <laughs> ah, we can buy a moke. Ah, I know we could. I, I knew we could buy one, but I didn't realize we could um, buy one in there like for twelve pound. But I didn't realize we could buy one by one. I mean, that was pretty good for twelve pound. I mean, I missed the special offer now. Um. But it, yeah, it was it was quite good. It was Moak, which is basically like buying a hundred books, maybe. Maybe we should have invested in that in the long run. That's probably a lot of energy that you get from those things. But we'll have to save up for it the hard way. Back to the store. Hair. Are these new hairstyles? No, these are not new hairstyles, are they? Oh. Oh. oh, revert, revert. Um, right, so we can make faces, customize our look. This is not our looks, is it? I don't think there's anything new from that point of view. So pets, we can get a moke. We've got some new skins for the, some of the things. Load. Load. Ooh. Look at this. Oh, that's really cool. I actually want that. But I want a moke more. And I want a baby ne cat needle. P <laughs> so what's a cat? What's the kitten? <laughs> needle kitten. <gasps> Look at him! I haven't seen him yet. Ah, oh, I kind of want that one. Look, he's so snowy. He reminds me of the first Curse Vault. Oh! Look at him! Look at him! These are all such good customizations. It's this one. Right, so the, yeah, so here's where we can, like, make proper changes in terms of, so you can change loads of extra things. You can make your eyes smaller or bigger. You can make your eyes closer or wide apart. Eye height, higher on your face. Brow size, ooh, we're getting some really bushy eyebrows. Look at this, is this my nose? Oh my life, look at this. <laughs> I mean, there's literally nothing wrong with that nose. 
Let's do everything to the max. See what max character looks like. Chin size. Jaw size. <laughs> this is my new face. It looks just like me now. Revert. <laughs> Thank you, Gem City, though. It'd be great if we could, like, alter our height. That would be quite nice. I think we should have that as well. God, this, this episode is going to last long. <laughs> I'm just getting distracted by a lot of things. Anagrams. New updates. Mm, I really want to buy a moak. Only a hundred. I caught a whole group of them out on the training grounds, but these two here were the ringleaders. They were talking about getting into all kinds of trouble. Were they now? I have mentioned the shield charm too. From the way Snipe was all bothered and nattering on, they intended to use it for more pra more than practice. You should let them hang by their wrists from the ceiling of an office. However, I've got all the chains oiled up. I have something else in mind. Thank you, Argus. That will be all. P. They let the old punishments die out. Terrible children need to be taught a lesson. Away with you. I know Filch is grumpy, but is he serious about those chains? I'm quite sure he is. But right now, you should be more concerned about what I'm thinking. Obviously, it's time we had another talk. And I'd appreciate your honesty. Shall I speak first, or would you prefer to try to explain what you've been up to instead? I'd like to talk first, Professor Dumbledore, and we owe you the honesty. We do. I mean, you're right, we do. I'm pleased to hear that, Mr. Hunter. Pleased enough to send us back to our houses? Not quite, Miss Snide. Let's see what else is said. Fulch is right. We're meeting with the Circle of Kana to talk about spellcasting. This morning you betrayed the Circle of Kana as something of a grief support group, but I suspect there's more going on than you perhaps shared. Am I wrong? The Circle is about dealing with what happened to Rowan. For all of us, that's not a lie. I'm encouraged that you're dealing with your grief. What happened to Rowan was traumatic for all of you. But as I said, I had a feeling something was more was afoot, which is why I asked Master Filch to keep an eye on you. When you congregated the eve this evening, it became clear my suspicions were correct. So you had his followed? That's not exactly a sign of trust, Professor. Marula, ever heard of the story of the pot and the kettle? You, you just did the same thing to me. Not the not time, Hunter. Bickering amongst yourselves won't help your cause. I hold you both responsible for Mr. Filch's report. Though I do appreciate you not trying to hide the truth for me about the allegation. Speaking up will go a long way to my eventually trusting you again. Still, you are again pursuing perils best left to adults. And the shield charm specifically suggests you must be looking to get in some kind of altercation. And I can't see that there's any excuse for that. At least give us a chance to explain what we're feeling, Professor Dumbledore. Very well, you may proceed. This is part six. It's been very long. I've enjoyed it. Thank you very much, Jamsey. It's been nicely long. Justice will come, but it will be the senior witches and wizards that secure it. Rowan is gone, and it's our Eratepik's fault. You can't ask us not to protect ourselves. We didn't lie. We are mourning Rowan, but in our own way. Students are meant to stay out of trouble at Hogwarts. The wizarding world is full of danger. We want to make it ourselves safer. Why shouldn't we learn the, the shield charm if we want to know it? It's true. We have to do something. The adults didn't exactly protect Rowan, did they? Boom. We're sorry we disappointed you, Professor. Myself and the entire faculty share your grief about your friend. In the future, please come to me with your concerns. Don't act. Take heed. Yep, yeah, he said that. I'm still waiting for that justice to come. Can we just point out that you have never, ever 
once assisted in in you know none of you have broken any curses the adults literally don't do anything you didn't protect Rowan you invited Drake pick in by the way just bringing that point up that not only did you not protect Rowan is, is, is worse than that you invited his killer into Hogwarts I know I'm deflecting right now onto Dumbledore but but I mean you know I've got a point you know you gave me the opportunity to deflect by making such bad decisions. What? Oh, I'm so sorry. Look alike. <laughs> Finally, you can look alike your avatar. I feel like my avatar is not too far away from me. Minus the beard. And the hair now that is long. It's nothing like. Actually, do we need to change a hairstyle? I think we need to change a hairstyle. I'm not sure how long I'm going to have long hair for. I haven't decided. But we need something a bit more... More swept back. We're actually this. Oh my god, that fits. Okay. Oh, no! <laughs> he bought it. I don't want to buy that for 250 gems. I'd, I, it would be cheaper for me to get a haircut. Done. Alright. More tickets. Thank you. We miss Rowan and we want to make sure we do everything we can to protect ourselves and the others. That's why we were talking about the shield charm. We hope you understand, Professor. I appreciate your passion, both of you, but I am repeatedly and deeply concerned by your actions. This incident demonstrates that you still haven't learned to heed my warnings, and I won't have to you encouraging other students to join your dangerous games. An example must be made of you. Crikey, you're really expelling us this time. No, I prefer to have you at Hogwarts where I can keep an eye on you and be sure you're all safe. So I'll be sending you somewhere, and I can be sure you'll have more time to focus on helping out at Hogwarts, and less time to instigate your friends into dangerous situations, not the kitchens. Oh no. Oh yes, Miss Stide. You and Shiny will spend your time in attention, and you're going there together. Dumbledore! Oh, it took us so long to get out of it last time. <laughs> oh... Jay! Jay, it's happened again! <laughs> Inevitably! Oh, and we're all over this this time. We've been expelled! It's hold us it's gonna hold us back so much. Oh wow. That is all for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was a very, very long 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 episode. Very long. <laughs> Hopefully you're still with me. If you still made it, the comment in the section below, I made it. And and I'll know what what you mean by that. You made it to the end of this video. Um, and thank you for watching. That's all for this one though. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like on the video. Hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. And that is all from me. See you guys soon.